when you're standing on the cliffs like this and the water is just absolutely roaring. And then we turned around to go the other way and there were sharks the other side. So they'd like divide it around us and- He was just putting a little bit of spray oil onto the- um, I just about set myself before. on fire. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are starting this one in Carnarvon. We are here for the next three nights at the Big Four Plantation Caravan Park. It's pretty relaxed, pretty chilled out here, and it's actually not super busy like we were expecting. We are just using Carnarvon for a little bit of a base to top up. We need to go to Coles or Woolies, whatever they've got here, stock up on water, and all them fun things before we start heading up a bit further north. So Carnarvon is known for its fresh fruit and veg and lots of market gardens around here. Yep, I've held Chelsea up a bit this morning. We were supposed to be gone like an hour and a half ago, but had a few jobs um, people come up and ask me to do. We are gonna do a drive, which is called the Fruit Loop. And we're also gonna check out the cactuses because there's some cactus garden here that everyone posts on Instagram. So yeah, we're gonna go check that out as well. First stop is Bumbax and we ended up getting a hot mango chili sauce. We're thinking that'll be perfect for when we do Mexican and our chicken wraps. So yeah, it looks pretty yummy. It is a little bit of a shame here though, you can't taste anything before you buy it. So they've got heaps of nice chutneys and sauces and dips, but unfortunately you just gotta wing it. So hopefully it's good. So I've been to a couple of market gardens and got some goodies. And now we're just stopping off at the cactus farm. So this is literally just at somebody's house and the front yard has got some big cactuses in it. So we're gonna have a little bit of a look. We've had very mixed reviews on this place. So yeah, we thought we'd see it for ourselves. And while you are here, just chuck a gold coin donation into the bin just to keep these things open. Good job. Oh, a big golden orb spider. Yeah. I wonder how you can cruise around and not get pricked by the cactus. Yeah. Did you pay your dollar, mister? Did you pay your donation? No, he lives here. Oh. Keeps the bugs down. That's actually quite a few of them. Your little brother would hate this. <sighs> Don't come here if you have a fear of spiders, because there's lots. Yeah. Be careful walking through anyway. This makes me nervous walking through so I feel like I've got to go like this, otherwise I'm going to get pricked. Uh, I should have sent you first, Bryce. Then you can get the spiders and all the prickles. Some whale bones here. Wouldn't be too good if you're uneasy on your feet and you fell over and landed on one of these bad boys. Ow. Why no thanks. Even, how do you even think of that stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I just do. Pricked yourself yet? No. <laughs> so far, so good. But I did notice there's like this hose here. The whole Very few tripping big hazards. Tripping hazards. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, yuck. No oh, thanks. In your face. Don't. Don't do it. Just went past the Gascoigne River and we haven't seen it with water in it yet. There wasn't lots, but there was some big puddles and yeah, more than we've ever seen. So we wanna know, has anyone actually ever seen the Gascoigne River at like full flowing, not just puddles? Be very interested to find out. Bryce just goes, oh, I wonder if that dog is still here from last time. I don't know how he remembers stuff like that. Yeah, there was a nice old dog that come up to here for a pat. It was a good, good fella. Actually, saying that, I remember stupid things like what I had for lunch. So we'll go past like a rest stop or something. And I was like, oh, I remember two years ago we stopped there and I had noodles for lunch or leftover chicken curry. So yeah, I guess I remember stupid things too. There you go, fresh chilies, chaps. Oh, chili boat. Oh, that's what we need for our dumplings tonight. Hey, one box. Yeah, nice. 
well we ended up with some goodies we visited i think four or five market gardens and got a little bit of something at each of them one big wombok which i do not know how i'm going to fit this in my fridge but good thing i'm going to be using as some of it tonight for our dumplings heap of tomatoes i think they only cost me three or four dollars big tub of frozen mango because we do make smoothies most days Oh, it's got my hair all over it. Oh, I hope it's my hair. And that was $10 for 700 grams. Pumpkin. That hot mango sauce that I showed you earlier. And a couple of chilies. I think that's a pretty good haul. Good morning. We are pretty early this morning because we are after a spot out at Quabba. So it's about 45 minutes from Carnarvon and apparently it's really busy out here at the moment. So we're hoping that we can jag a site when someone leaves this morning. I feel like we'll have no issues but I'd just rather be there early because it is going to be a really nice couple of days and yeah we're keen to do some snorkeling. You have got a few choices of places to stay out at Quabba. We are heading to the blowholes because we really like that camp spot. It's pretty cheap and you're literally right next to some of the most amazing snorkeling spots in WA. You've got this place called the Aquarium, which is awesome to snorkel literally right outside your campground. King Waves Kill. Oh look, some more stickers on the sign. Love that. Unreal. Now wish us luck, we have seen lots of vans and camper trailers driving out so I think that's a good sign that there should be plenty of spots for us just to sneak right into. There's not many sites with a view and we've got one of them so that's pretty good. Pretty happy about that. So when I'm doing the dishes, I can see the ocean. So it definitely pays getting here at a decent time in the morning because we had heaps of sites to pick from. So this spot here is called the aquarium and it's really popular with families because it's really sheltered and on in between like high and low tide it's a perfect spot for snorkeling coming for a walk out to the blowholes to see if they're spoofing as bryce would call it <laughs> and bryce has insisted on going the shortcut the easy way it literally looks like i'm trying to walk on the moon right now yeah just imagine it's like floating right now just oh well, it'd be easier these rocks are really sharp so <clears throat> oh they are they're not sharp they're all rounded off they're nice mm. yeah a little bit of hard work doesn't hurt honey that's where we're going over there check it it's spoofing today you really need to come up with a better word for that. What the world is that? Oh! Sorry, my language. Just there. Oh, wow. wow. That was cool. I was not expecting that to be so close. Again. Far out. Big old humpback. That is a big old humpback. This coastline is actually so freaky. When you're standing on the cliffs like this and the water is just absolutely roaring. Yeah, a little bit scary actually. We spent a good couple of hours this morning snorkeling and hanging down by the beach and it was so cool there was actually heaps of sea life and um, saw probably like maybe 60 odd of these little sharks and i think they're called nursing whalers and then there was a turtle and just heaps of fish so it was actually really good to to go snorkeling down there today yeah it was really good seeing so many sharks 
Chelsea was a little bit nervous when she saw the sharks because they sort of like surrounded us. We were swimming and then we saw sharks in front of us and then we turned around to go the other way and there were sharks the other side. So they'd like divided around us and- Yeah, it's quite creepy. But... Chelsea was a little bit freaked out. Just more because of the number of them. They were quite small, about a meter or so. Yeah. Big, but there was heaps of them. That was the scary part. As always, when we cruise through some of the bigger towns, we've always got some sort of post to pick up. And we're pretty excited to show you these ones. Um, ever since I bought the same shoes as Chelsea, she's sort of uh, given me some pretty dirty looks over the time. So resented we thought- Resented him. Yeah, she's resented me, that's the word. <laughs> um, so we've got some exciting new shoes to, to show you today. We've got some Alida shoes. So these shoes are a water shoe. They're super lightweight. They're made of a nice breathable material and the water just drains straight out of them. So they're perfect for exploring around in the water. And I really hope these aren't the same as Bryce's because I did not see what his final pick was. Actually, I remember I got something different that you wouldn't actually want because I thought they were a bit girly. These shoes have come at the perfect time as well because we're at the start of the Ningaloo Reef and as everyone knows, everything in Australia wants to kill you. Whether it's uh, crocodiles, sharks, I mean, these aren't gonna save you against that, but sea urchins, stonefish, and lots of sharp rocks around the place too. Alita is a brand are committed to using less water, using more sustainable materials and giving back to society with their quality and affordable footwear. If you are interested in getting yourself a pair of Alita shoes, make sure to use our discount code CARAVANADVENTUREOZ15 to get 15% off at checkout when you purchase a pair. All the information for these Alita shoes will be in the description below. We are out having a little bit of an explore on these flats just out on the beach and this is actually where we were snorkeling today. Keep a little like sea urchins and everything as well. And it's amazing like how hard their spines are too. You wouldn't want to step on one. Give you a nasty uh, prickle anyway. Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. He's so pretty. Look at the colors on him. Or oh, hair. Hello, all right. Hermit crabs are hermaphrodites. Are they? Sounds convincing, doesn't it? Oh, it does. <laughs> So we've got our last night here at Quabba Blowholes and this has to be one of our favourite spots in WA as a whole and even Australia, like to be able to swim, snorkel, camp, so close together and then the amount of whales and wildlife that we've seen, or sea life should I say, that we've seen over the last couple of days. We're sitting here now just watching whales just jump and what are, what's it called? Breach. Breach. And, and it's only $22 a night, so a bonus. Yeah, such a good spot. So we've just pulled up at tonight's rest area. It's the Manilia Roadhouse. Oh, it's the rest area near the Manilia Roadhouse. And on the way into town, there's a proper rest area and then there's an overflow. And we're in the overflow because we saw how busy it is. And what I'll do is I'm gonna chuck the drone up so you can see the difference. And wow, like, I don't know why you'd wanna be packed in like a sardine when you can come over the other side and it's nice, big, spacious and open areas. This is our spot here. We've got some chicken wing dings ready for dinner tonight. That was Chelsea's request. Yeah, I'll make Bryce get the Weber out though. Yeah. Putting had, him to work. Had to do a wingdings. bit of work, more work today. But yeah, it should be really good. Mm -hmm. 
This is also a quick stopover before we head into 14 mile tomorrow. So we thought we'd get, I don't know, an hour down the road or so, pull up and that way we can go straight into 14 mile in the morning. Everyone will know how much I love chicken nuggets and we're going a step up from chicken nuggets tonight. Got a little bit classy. Got a bag of chicken pieces. I thought they were gonna be like the little wing, ding, wing dings, but they're huge. Should be good. Should be really good. And Chelsea was just putting a little bit of spray oil onto the um, I just about to And she nearly uh, lit her hair up, which would have been quite enjoyable actually to watch. That's a bit nasty. Oh, I would have helped you. These look pretty good. We're not going to see a KFC or anything for a while, so. And chicken treat is rubbish. Oh my God. Don't get me started with chicken treat. We had a really bad experience with chicken treat like a couple years ago and we're still holding on to it. So let us know in the comments if you actually like chicken treat or you're not a big fan. So yeah, we're not. It's like the poor people's KFC. No, but not even poor people's because it's so expensive. So it's not the poor person's KFC. It's like the, maybe it's a rich person's KFC. Yeah. We are going to end this video here and we'll see you again next week when we head to 14 Mile and Coral Bay. If you've liked this one, make sure to like, subscribe and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. Catch you later.